Sometimes in this class you may have to do problems like this where you have to do some kind of cross multiplying. So I want to go ahead and just review cross multiplying since it may have been a while since some of you guys have seen this. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take one diagonal, multiply them together, and you're going to take it, have it equal to the product of the other diagonal. I'll do this one first. X times X gives you X squared and equals, and then we're going to uh, multiply these. So we're going to do 8 times X minus 2. Okay, so cross multiply, we do that. Again, we're adding exponents here, so that's why you get X squared. To solve these kind of problems, you need to get them equal to zero and then do factoring. So I'm going to do x squared equals and then I get 8x minus 16. We need to get it equal to zero before we solve this. So when we move it across, you get x squared minus 8x plus 16. That's all going to equal zero. And now once you have a quadratic set equal to zero, we're going to do factoring. and Two numbers that multiply to make 16 and add to be negative 8. We're going to do 4 and 4. We know we have to have x and x here to get the x squared. And then if it's plus on the end, they're either both positive or both negative. In this case, they both have to be negative because negative 4 and negative 4 will give you a positive 16. But when you add them together, negative 4 negative 4, you'll get negative 8. So now we're just going to set that equal to 0. And normally you set both of them, but since they're both the same, all we gotta do is just do one of them equal to zero, add four to both sides, and you get four. You can always check your answer to see if you did it correct. If you put a four in here, eight over four would be two. If you put four in here, four over four minus two, you'll also get two on that side, so therefore we know four is our answer.